Hello, y'all. I, I can't tell if I'm live or not. Uh, I'm going to assume that I am. This is Mike, you guys, from Mike's Magic Resto Detailing and Paint Enhancement here in a sunny but cold Sharksburg, Georgia. But I don't care because I'm inside. Got my heat going. Uh, everything's good. How about the last 50 hours or so? I've been working on this Toyota Camry, 2014 Toyota Camry, and it was pretty badly hammered. Even though it's only got like 34,000 miles on it, it belongs to a, literally a little old lady, 83 years of age, the mother of one of my neighbors. I, I hate to says rotate your device. Uh, I don't want to rotate my device. All I do is move, and it does that. I don't understand. But anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, the customer set a budget for this to resurrect this car, and of course I went way above the budget. <laughs> Y'all know that. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! It was thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly strip washed because it was nasty. It had all kinds of stuff on it, bonded to the clear coat, embedded into the clear coat, you name it. It had it. lots of micro scratching, a lot of scratching, some deep scratches that on this budget I was not able to remove. But I did focus on some that were really deep and, and I just wanted to see if I could get rid of and I think I pretty much did that and you know one of the biggest problems I had was the water spot removal because it had gotten wet so many times and dried uh, outside in the sun and all that stuff that was in the water whether it was rain sprinklers who knows uh, you know the water evaporates and then it leaves behind the junk that's in that water droplet. You know, water doesn't spot. It doesn't. It's the stuff in the water that spots. That's why I use a deionization system when I'm doing this, washing these cars, because it won't spot. But anyway, did all that, used the water spot remover on the entire vehicle after, uh, after claying it and all that and chemically deconning it, I still had to do the water spot remover on the whole vehicle. That uh, was a real pain. Ah, uh, man, and after all that, uh, then I went and, on a lot of this car, I did what we call a one-step polish, but on other parts of it, I did some wet sanding and some two-step polish, and the wheels and tires were a little bit of a challenge. The front end was really hammered. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. All kinds of stuff on this paint. Got rid of, I'd say, 99% of it, of course. Your rear view mirrors were hammered, the side mirrors. The glass was really messed up. I did a, what we call a topical polish on that. Cleaned it up a great deal. Sealed it with a good protectant. The entire car has been sealed with SiO2, as they call it, I think. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it turned out good. I'm really pleased with it. Even though <laughs> I went way, way, way over the budget. Of course, I'm not going to charge him any extra for that. Oh, man. That turned out nice. And this protection that I've put on here, folks, this is not a ceramic coating. But this protection will last probably a couple of months or better, depending on whether what environment it's put into. He said he's going to get a cover for her to go on it. Uh, you got be careful with those car covers, folks. Sometimes they do more damage than they do good. So anyway, <laughs> oh boy, ah, it turned out looking really good. I think with her Camry. Alright you guys, take care. Like, tag, share, follow, subscribe, all that stuff if you do please. <laughs> Thanks everybody for dropping in.